In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how and where and why to create title attributes for your SEO in your WordPress site, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more WordPress tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's head over to the screen capture so we can master these title attributes. I'll see you there. Here we are in the WordPress dashboard. To change the title attribute for a menu, you just go to Appearance, click on Menus, and you will have all your pages listed over here in the menu. I'm going to add a couple more so it might look a little more like your menu or like an actual menu. So just check those boxes, click on Add. And now I've got more pages on here. If you click on this down arrow, you'll see some options in here. The only option I have right now is changing the navigation label. If we click on screen options up here, under the show advanced menu properties area, we have something called a title attribute. So if we check that box, this little input field appeared. We have more fields as well. I'll just go and check all of them. Quickly explain what all of them are for you. So the title attribute is what's gonna appear after we hover over the link for a few seconds. So I'm just gonna call this go to homepage. Click this box to open a new tab, pretty self-explanatory. CSS classes allow you to add a class to just that menu link so you can style it differently from the others if you want to. This would be most commonly done if you have a free trial link or a buy now link. You always want those to stand out so you could just style those as a different color. Adding the CSS class here makes that really, really easy. Link relationship allows you to add things like no follow tags to your link. So theoretically, Google's link juice will not be passed from link to link if you use the no follow. Whether it helps for SEO is debatable. The, the link relationship is not often used. A description is, shows here the description will be displayed in the menu if the current theme supports it. So this is an option that theme developers can add into the menus if they want to. So if you want to enter a description here, you can. I've never seen a description added to a main navigation menu item, so I don't think you want to do that, but you have the option to, and your theme may or may not show it when you type it in. Now let's go and type in test to see if our theme shows it. We click on save menu, then we're gonna view the live page to see what that title attribute looks like. So here's the home link. If we hover over it, we have the title up here, which is go to home page. And that's the title attribute in navigation menus. The title attributes for links work the same way. I'll just quickly show you how that works. So if we open the editor for this home page here, and I just highlight any piece of text, click on the link button. It's gonna link this to there. And the link text is this right here. Then I click on add link. Now, right now this link does not have a title, but if I click into the link area before the greater than symbol and type in title equals, it's gonna call it this is the title. So in between the two quotes, you put the actual title that you want, click on update, head back to the home page and refresh it. Now we have a link here, we hover over that and we have the title appear after a second of hovering over this link. And that's title attributes in the navigation menu in regular links, both of which are links. So they both function the same way. And that's all the rates to the WordPress title attribute. I hope this video helps you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below the video. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress, get even better at it. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.